Hello guys, and welcome to Matt Speemer. The other day I was talking to my friend Joseph at Lloyd's Legal Consultant, who's a YouTuber, and we were talking about what classic car would I buy for £5,000 or less? And I thought to myself, what would I get? So we set each other the task of trying to find a nice car for under £5,000. It must be over 40 years old, be within 50 miles of the postcode and what was the last thing? So the car must be drivable. I know cars over a certain age don't need to have an MOT and are tax exempt but yeah basically a safe car that's able to drive about from what I can tell from the adverts. The cars that I do mention in my video I have nothing to do with. I won't recommend you go and see them but they're basically cars that I would look to, basically, they're the top five cars that I would go and look at if I was looking for one. So in other words, they may look beautiful in the adverts, but in reality, they're, um, they could be a pile of junk, basically. So, let's see what I've chosen. Okay, so basically, oh, I had to cheat a little bit, um, Joseph. Basically, where I live is right next to the sea, and um, I have a smaller search area. So what I did was uh, move my search area up a bit to Biggin Hill, so I have a 50 mile radius around me. Otherwise, I won't get many car choices at all. I think there were only about two cars that I could have chosen if I did my normal postcode. And also, down in the southeast near London, Cars are quite expensive anyway, compared to the north. Anyway, let's see what I've picked. So, the first car was quite a surprise to me. And to be honest, the market's changed in England since I last looked. Back when I lived in England, cars were so cheap of this certain age. Right, the first car. The first car is a Porsche 924 in Porsche Racing Orange. Um, it's up for £4,500, so it's within my budget. Um, the reason he's selling it, apparently, is because he needs a more practical family car, which I can understand. Um, the car has been kept in the family for quite a while. All the electrics work as they should, and the engine is bulletproof. And it, apparently it looks and sounds great. There are three small dents on the body so the price has been lowered accordingly so if you don't mind sorting out a little bit of body damage it could be for you well I wouldn't mind buying it to be honest um, but I don't know if this colour is original or if it's been resprayed in the past or in the pictures it looks quite nice anyway basically um, it's got the 2 litre engine it's done 75,000 miles it's petrol it's manual it's a W red, so it's 1980, so it just squeezes into the um, the time frame that I'm allowed to choose from. Yeah. If I did buy this Porsche, though, I would go in with an open mind. Bear in mind, Porsches aren't the cheapest cars in the world to fix. Um, and being the person who likes fixing cars, it would suit me. So that'd be my first choice. The second choice, one second, I've got to pause the video again. The second choice is a Triumph Spitfire. And for me, the Spitfire was such a beautiful car. This one here is in a beautiful kind of basin green. It's up for just under £4,000. It looks clean in the pictures from what I can see, but you can never be sure. It's got black interior. It's done, apparently done 7,000 miles, but I think that must be a, a misprint. Uh, unless it's 7,000 miles since the restoration or 7,000 miles on a new engine, I can't be sure. It says that this is the 1500 overdrive model. Um, they've spent thousands over the years restoring and maintaining this beautiful car. They've even got the seats refoamed and a new full wooden dash. Ah, there you go. The odometer has gone all the way around the clock. So it could have done 107,000 miles, could have done 207,000 miles, who knows. And it's smoke free, so does that mean that they haven't smoked in it or the car doesn't smoke? 
and it's had over five owners in the past. But how many has it had? But anyway, that looks such a beautiful car. And also, my mum had one back in the day before she met my dad. She, I think she had a red one, I can't be sure. Um, but she loved it. But my dad used to take the Mickey, um, saying that his TR6 was a proper car and that the Triumph Spitfire was a Mickey Mouse car. So there's always a bit of banter there. The third choice is a car I've never even heard of before, but I'm sure my friend Joseph at Lloyd's Vehicle Consulting can tell you all about it in a video or something. But this car here is the 1955 Standard 10 Saloon. Um, apparently the car is in original condition and well presented in grey paintwork. And it has red leather trim in the interior. Um, it's been in the warehouse dry stored for years. It runs well and is an ideal project car. Um, so it runs well. I'm not sure if it's on the road or not. I'm not sure if this falls into the rules. So I'm sure that Joseph will tell me down below in the comments. Um, it's, it's going to be supplied with um, service history, uh, owner's handbook and UK registration papers. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice looking car to be honest. It's, um, it's very nice. But to be honest, it's not a car that I would personally have. I didn't actually have much choice in the mileage radius that I had. Quite a lot of the cars were broken down MGs with rust or um, Volkswagen, beat Volkswagen beach buggies that are completely kaput. And the cars that I would love to choose are on the auction sites. And unfortunately, I can't choose the ones that are still in the auction. I can only choose the buy it now cars. The fourth choice, one second. Sorry, my phone is so confusing. It's um, so many menus, so many screens. Um, I have loads of email just for certain things. Aha, I found it. <laughs> the fourth choice is a Land Rover Series 3. And I really like the Land Rovers. Um, if you like Land Rovers, I did do an in-depth tour, um, I think last year or the year before, and it was my mum's other half's um, Defender, it was not Defender, a Land Rover 90. If you want to see an in-depth tour on the Land Rover 90 on my channel, look down in the description box down below and you should see a link to the video. It's not my best video, it's um, when I started making YouTube videos and yeah, it's not good quality, but it does the job. This one here is a 1972 Land Rover Series 3. Um, it's kind of a greeny, greyish colour, and the top um, looks to be detachable. Up front, it's got two seats, and in the back, it's got two, like, um, longitudinal bent seats facing towards each other. I think I said that word correct. Um... This car here has the highly respected 200 TDI engine, which is very good. Yeah, that's what we had in the um, Lam Rover 90. There's not much information on this car. It's done 89,000 miles. Um, it's a beautiful car. It's not going to win concourse condition um, prizes, but um, it, it looks the part, basically. I like it. And my final choice... One second, trying to find my email um, icon again. My final choice, it became hard to choose cars at the end because there wasn't much choice. And someone's coming looking at me. <sighs> it's so awkward when people just come up to your window and stare at you, thinking, what are you doing talking to yourself? My final choice, it wasn't my favourite choice, to be honest. Um, it was an MGB 1.8 Roadster. I love them normally, but this one in this picture um, looks kind of two-tone, like it's been sprayed badly, but you can never tell by photos. It could be very nice. Um, it's got chrome bumpers, which I love. Um, the colour of it is kind of a dark red. The colour before was um, like a mustard yellowy colour, apparently. I'm guessing like the one on the TR6 years ago. Um, it's done 
53,000 miles, it has the 1.8 engine, it's petrol, it's manual, yeah, it's being sold by a garage, I presume. Um, aha. It's had three owners from new, it's text and, text and MOT exempt. One thing I never understood is why these classic cars don't need MOTs, because new cars after three years old need MOTs to be declared safe and how can a 40, how can a classic car be deemed as safe if um, no one's checked it they weren't very um, strong back in the day so they can't be strong now um, let me know let me know what your opinions are on the MOT exempt models on the safety point of view so Anyway, enough on that MG. What car would you choose out of those five? And what would you choose if you were limited to a 50 mile radius to your house and has to be over 40 years old and drivable and with a 5,000 pound budget? Let me know down below and let's see what you come up with. The next video that I'm doing just in a second is the same kind of video again, but I'm limited to 10,000 pound. So I'll see you on the next video. Thank you and take care.